Hey there, this is David again out in the woods and uh, turn this around. Susan cautioned me to turn the camera slowly. She said I'm making her seasick. So <laughs> I'm out here in the woods and I'm out here to finish bucking up the ash we cut the other day and came, I do, took a little walk. I was just looking around a little bit and uh, here's another nice dead ash. And I'm looking at it at about, okay, I'm looking at it 90 degrees from the direction I want to take it. As I look up, it uh, leans back a little bit, but then at the top, it leans forward or to the left. So I'm going to say this is pretty well balanced. I'm not sure which way it wants to go. So this one, when we drop it, we will cut out part of the back and put in a wedge before we drop it. And if I walk around it here, I'm going to try to move slow here so I don't make y'all seasick. I'm going to take it. I've got a nice place out there. There's a shingle oak. You see that green top there is a shingle oak. I'm going to go right toward that. We'll ta I'll take that shingle oak out and I've got an elm here to go out first. Anyway, as I go up, the tree's nice and vertical. No side lean issues at all. So... Anyway, so uh, I'm going to finish bucking up, and I've already got my plan ready for this. That little elm right there in the middle, that's going to go, and I'll, and I'll do a face, face cut, back cut, drop it, and then cut the stump low. That shingle oak out there, same thing. Let's see, put him right in the middle. I'll do a, he's going to go to the right. If you look up there, that shingle oak kind of leans over to the right, so I'll be taking him to the right. This elm is going to be taken kind of across my path. He leans over to the left, so I'm just going to go straight with the most of the lean on those. Take them down, and uh, and this one we do a face cut, bore cut, cut out half the back, set a wedge. Cut out the other half and then either wedge or just get out of the way if it starts. And my escape route is going to be over there. Got a nice clear path over there. That'll be my escape route. So I've got my plan formulated on this one already. And anyway, I'm going to go buck up. I've got my 385 gassed up, ready to go. And over here, we got pawpaw. We've got some nice soil out here. Uh, pawpaw is good ground. You can grow shumard oak and walnut where you've got pawpaw growing. This is pretty, pretty nice soil. It's a little bit tight. This is really a pin oak site, but some walnuts do grow on here. It kind of depends where you get in this area. You get on a high spot, walnut grows. You get on a low spot, and it's a pin oak site. And uh, You know, surprisingly, we don't have a lot of bush honeysuckle out here. I've been pulling up a few, but it's not bad. Our big issue in here has always been American elm. Elm loves to grow in here. It's not not worth growing because they fall apart and they die and fall apart about the time they get to be a saw log. And here we've got about a 12 inch tree. And uh, this stuff makes terrible firewood. It takes a lot of oak to burn a chunk of elm. So, you know, it's, I kind of hate having them in here taking up space. So, anyway, I'm going to get back to bucking. And uh, I get done with that. We'll come up here, cut that elm, cut that shingle oak, and then cut that ash. That's what we're going to do. So, anyway, I got my, got my plans all figured out. And you can see the ash we're working up is out there. You can see one of the stumps we made the other day. So... Here, I'm going to put this in my pocket, get to work, and I'll bring the tripod and set up here. Okay, catch you in just a bit. And I'm back. So I've got uh, all that wood worked up over there. And on the way out here, I spotted about four more ash trees we could be cutting. So anyway, we're going to start with this one. I'm going to go first to that little elm. I'm going to do a face cut. And a back cut, no plunge cut. Take it down, move over there to that shingle oak, and that'll make a nice hole. 
for this this tree right here. Gonna make a nice hole for this tree. As soon as we get this one down, and turn around slowly here. There's another ash there, about an eight inch diameter ash. And I'm gonna get 90 degrees to the direction we'll take it. We're gonna take it in the same hole. And looking up at, you can see that top leans a little bit to the south and I'm wanting it to go north. It's got a limb hanging out that kind of gives it a little weight to the north, but this one will definitely get a wedge on the backside. And this is going to be the same basic plan. I'm going to do a face cut, bore cut, cut out half the back, set a wedge, cut out the other half, wedge it over, and then escape out that way. So, anyway, we'll do these right quick here. We'll set this little tripod up. And let's see. There it is right there. Okay. Get my ears on, get my eyes on. We're ready to whack that one. come down when I get the other one over here we get the front cuts bore cut half the back set a wedge then I'll move this camera around behind so you can see the action from back there
camera. Okay, ready to cut. that cut you can see it set down a little bit so we're gonna stick this other one in share the load Very satisfying. <laughs> oh boy, that's very satisfying. Anyway, there's our stump. Went just according to plan. It took down that little shingle oak that was lodged. I knew it was going to do that. But while we're here, let's go ahead and hit that one too. And uh, I'm going to set this one up on the tripod. Man, there's a lot of a lot of weeds here to pull if I set that down on the ground. Anyway, so I'll pull the legs out on the tripod again. Okay, I'm going to work from the other side. I'll make my face cut, bore cut, cut out half the back, stick a wedge in, come around and finish it from this side, and then pound the wedge just like you did on the other one. Much. 
there if you're going. And back it all. Very nice. Oh boy, that's satisfying. Okay. So we've got two two ash trees on the ground now. So there's our stump. And, and I tell you, I'm about out of breath. I ran a tank of gas through the big saw already and uh, and uh, went back and filed it and, and gassed it and brought it back. I am going to go ahead and buck some of this up. You don't need to see that. But, you know, when you're bucking on firewood trees, you got the luxury of going to the far end and working your way back where the stresses are smaller. A logger's got to stop. He's got to cut it off at the top of the merchantable length regardless of the forces. So he's got to be pretty good at doping those out. I don't have to be quite that good. Then I think I will go ahead and do a little bit of cutting here. And then I got to... Got to head back home. So thank you very much for watching.